Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about the return values that some of the ArrayList methods generate. So what I've done so far is I've created this little ArrayList which has five elements in it and I'm going to print it. And here is the ArrayList being printed. And what we want to talk about today is what happens when we call certain ArrayList methods, what do they return? So for example, let's say that I was to call this ArrayList method here. Now, just as a reminder, is that going to remove the zero or the two? It's going to remove the two. This is going to be an index. What would I have to do to remove the zero? I could cast it with capital integer. Very good. So let's uh, first run this. And what I'll do is I will print the array before and after the remove to show you that indeed it's the two and not the zero that's being removed. And you can see that the two has been removed. Now, it turns out that this remove method also returns a value. So if I was to save it in an answer variable like this, and then I was to print the answer, what do you think this remove value will return here? Mr. Mitty, what would be your guess? I told it to remove the item at index zero, and it did so, but then it returned something. Any guesses what it would return, sir? That's right. It returns the item that was removed. Okay, so you tell it to remove an item at an index, it says, okay, I removed it, and by the way, here's what I removed. So in case you want to use that later, you can use it elsewhere. So here the two is going to get returned. So let's have a look at that. You can see that the two got returned here. We were talking earlier about what would happen if I did this instead, C dot remove, And then if I was to cast this to a capital integer zero, now you know that the zero is going to get removed. Of course, it wouldn't make sense for this method now to return a zero because I already gave it a zero. Giving it back to me is not going to really help in any way. What do you think is going to happen if I ask it to remove item zero? I'm going to run this for you, and I'm guessing it might be a little bit of a surprise. And you can see that the return value was true. What do you think it's trying to tell me? Okay, who's next? Ms. Nuha, what do you think it's trying to tell me here? I tried, I, I removed the zero item and it came back and said true. What do you think it's trying to tell me? <laughs> that it found the zero and removed it. What would happen if I try to remove a five here? Let's see who's next on my list. Ms. Sujan, uh, would it be successful? So what do you think the return value will be in that case? Okay, so let's run that. You can see in this case it came back with a false because it couldn't return, couldn't find the five to remove it. Notice it doesn't create a runtime error if you try to remove an element that's not there. It just basically just returns false and said there was no five in the array list for me to remove. So these are some basic return values of the remove method. We're going to do one more now. So I print the array, I change the uh, item at index two. Just as a reminder, the item at index two is which item, Mr. Owen? That's the four. I'm gonna change the four to a five, but it returns something. And after printing the changed array list, I'm gonna print what it returned. Sir, so I'm giving it the five, so it giving me back the five isn't gonna help me because I already have the five. Do you remember the example I did earlier, sir, when you remove something, it tells you what was removed? It will return true, sir, if you tell it to remove a specific item and it tells you whether it was found or not. Here I'm giving it an index, so there's not going to be any issue about finding it because either the index is going to be there, it's going to generate a runtime error. So my question is, what value will get returned here? Any idea? It returns the four that was once again removed, or in this case, replaced. And you can see here, that whatever is being removed or replaced is also returned. You're going to need this little trick tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, on uh, uh, Friday for the lab. You'll see that a lot of the exercises that will be convenient when you replace or remove an item from an array list that the array list method set or remove returns to you what was removed so that you can then take that item and do something else with it, either print it or put it back in the array elsewhere or whatever. So that is my very brief lesson for you today on return value.